Welcome to Murrayfield Ice Rink, home of the Edinburgh Capitals, for the next part of Shooting Sport as a Spectator, which is going to be ice hockey. With the Winter Olympics being held in 2018, it seemed appropriate to feature a high-profile winter sport. Ice hockey can be tricky to capture as the game is fast and furious and is played in a stadium with artificial lighting. Edinburgh Capitals play in the Elite League, the UK's premier ice hockey competition. So I went along to the showdown between Edinburgh and the Guildford Flames. The first thing for any photographer to do is contact the club before you travel if you want to take a camera into the game. While mobile phones are allowed, some clubs don't allow cameras with interchangeable lenses and it is advisable to check. Once you are into the game, I recommend sitting with the travelling fans as the seats are less likely to be full, meaning you will have more options to choose a shooting position. As well as shooting from the stands, I also shot from the rink side, which normally isn't allowed for fans. But again, if you contact the club in advance and explain what you want to achieve, this might be an option. Shooting from a rink side position comes with its own challenges, as you are taking images through glass screens. While these screens are kept as clean as possible, the angle of the shot can make a huge difference to the results. Shooting at 90 degrees to the glass is okay, but an oblique angle will cause distortion in the final image. I took along two Fujifilm X-T2s and my four Fujinon zooms, including the 100-400 I usually favour for sport. However, I soon put it back in the bag as the maximum aperture was too slow for the tricky lighting conditions. I used the 5140 f2.8 and the 90mm f2 lenses during the game. The fast maximum aperture settings coming in very useful in keeping the ISO as low as possible. The artificial lighting can be tricky for the colour balance, so check the camera settings before the start of the game and adjust it if necessary. Following such a fast moving sport is tricky and I recommend you attend a game or two without a camera to see how the action unfolds. Ice hockey is very unpredictable and the play flows from one end to the other. Players also move quickly and can change direction on a pin. With team sports, I normally advise photographers to keep their eye on the ball, but that is also extremely difficult when the ball, which in ice hockey is called a puck, is a three inch by one inch piece of rubber that moves at tremendous speed. I found the best way was to keep my left eye on the game and be ready when the play moves into my area. For frame filling shots, I waited until the play moved into the attacking zone I was covering, which is marked by a blue line on the ice. The game between Edinburgh and Guildford was tied going into the final 20 minute period. Guildford scored to move ahead and with seconds remaining until the final buzzer, Edinburgh gambled by taking off the goalie to bring on another attacker, leaving the goal unmanned. Unfortunately the gamble failed and Guildford slotted in the fourth goal in the dying seconds of the game. Ice hockey has to be one of the most challenging sports I have ever shot, but that is one of the reasons I really enjoyed the experience. For further details on the Edinburgh Capitals visit the website at edcapitals.com and for British Ice Hockey visit britishicehockey.co.uk